Hi, Mike Kennedy, I'm 005 Kennedy. And I thought today I'd mention this book called Low Profile Amateur Radio. Now, uh, what does it mean by low profile? In other words, it's talking about mainly constructing antennas in such a way that no one knows you have an antenna. And so why would you do that? Well, the idea is some people don't want to draw attention to the fact that they're a ham radio operator. And the ma basic reason for that is they live in an area where they've signed a covenant that says that they won't put up an antenna. So there are ways to put up antennas without people seeing them. Uh, one of the, uh, the classic ways is to, uh, well, this guy's put up a birdhouse and it's really his antenna. Uh, some people have their flagpole and they turn it into an antenna. Some people have done something as uh, simple as tuning a, uh, their gutter. They found out their gutter could tune into a certain frequency. Some people put antennas in their roof or along their roof, along the edges of their, their house so it can't be seen. Uh, another thing, now obviously you're going to say this isn't going to work, but this is just an example. This is a thin wire, very strong Teflon coated wire, and uh, of course this is bright orange. I got this uh, from a fellow ham, and I'm, I'm not concerned about anyone seeing it, but this is mainly the Teflon coating helps in throwing up trees and retrieving it and stuff. But. I'm just showing it. This is a hundred feet. If you took a thin wire like this and it was a more neutral color, uh, like a dark gray or a black, by the time you put this about 20 feet up, no one's really going to be able to see it. You're not going to notice it. So you could string a regular antenna, quite a long antenna, up in your backyard uh, and no one would see it. So there's another way to do it. But this book is really good. Uh, this book was put out by the A Double R L, and uh, unfortunately, all their books are quite pricey. Uh, this one was nineteen ninety five for uh, how many pages? We got we got less than sixty pages, but it does have good ideas. It has good techniques in it. It uh, talks about uh, what the order of preference the or author would have for doing certain things. He lived in areas where he couldn't have antennas. They talk about some of the more complicated antennas like the loop antennas, the round loop antennas that you tune. Uh, they talk about the idea of using low power too. I mean equipment and operating procedures are much better than they were at one time. But it used to be a big deal if you put a ham radio antenna up and anything anybody had anything wrong with their TV set or radio, they would blame the, the ham operator by nearby. Well, of course, you can avoid that by using proper uh, techniques for running your radio station. And uh, you could avoid it by using lower power, too. So uh, nowadays... Uh, Everybody in my neighborhood, I'm sure, is either on satellite or uh, cable. Now, cable would be very hard to disrupt with any type of amateur radio signal. Uh, ham radio, too, in the ranges, the HF ranges, is so different than the uh, ranges that the satellite are in. But uh, sometimes you have these things called harmonics, and if you have a poorly constructed or set up station, it generates other frequencies as well. So if you're running Let's say you have a you have a typical 100 watt radio and then you're running it into a linear amplifier which puts it up to 600 watts and there are some of this other emissions going out besides on your frequency. It could be that it will interfere with something else. So uh, one of the ways to uh, be low profile is to not go over 100 watts or even consider uh, uh, the lower power and even doing 20 and 5 watts. Uh, especially with some of the new digital modes, you can get a lot of communications with those. Uh, but this is a, a very nice book, I think. It's well worth the, even the $20. Uh, 
and it shows you pictures of people's actual hidden antennas and uh, talks about considerations with uh, antenna tuners which usually you're going to need an antenna tuner you can build antenna tuners too and uh, you're going to need them because uh, you're not necessarily going to be able to fit in the exact size or configuration antenna you want you might be going like I said you might be going making a rectangular antenna around your house up by the gutters where it can't be seen or the eaves uh, so you might have a compromised shape or size so an antenna tuner becomes important uh, so if you're interested in that if you're interested in operating uh, without other people knowing that you're a ham radio operator uh, if because you're in an area that uh, doesn't allow antennas or simply for some reason you don't want people to know that you have ham radio equipment that they could steal or whatever I don't know this is a good book for you low profile amateur radio by Al Bragdon W1AB very good get it have a good day